Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking tunnel using Trapcode Mirror. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a new composition. We're going to go for 1920 by 1080 pixels at around about 10 seconds. I'm just going to press OK. Then we need to come over here and create a new solid. And I'm just going to call this tunnel. And then I'm going to search for the effect Trapcode Mirror 3. And then I'm just going to drag it to the tunnel. Now, once we're in here, we need to change a few things in geometry. The first thing that we need to do is we need to change the size to XYZ individual and we need to change size X to 4000 and we need to come over here to size Y and change it to 130,000. And so once we've done that, we then need to move to our position settings and we need to change this uh, y value to 1170 and so now we can move on to the next value which is our rotate x we need to put in minus 90 and once we've done that then we need to come over here to our y and we need to change this to 0.1 and so if you've done that correctly now you've got this you know spiralized kind of tunnel looking effect so moving on to the next set of things that we have to change we have to go into fractal and we're just going to change the amplitude to zero and then what we are going to do is we're going to come over here to the scroll x and the scroll y settings the first one we are going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch and we're going to write time times 100 and then when you're done with that you can just click off and then you can do the same for the scroll y but this time we are going to write time times 1000. So now you've got the X and Y axis or the X and Y scroll at times 100 and times 1000. So moving on, then we need to go to our shader settings and we need to change a few things in here. The first one we are going to change is the draw. We're going to change that to points and then we are going to change the point size to seven and then what we need to do is we need to come down to second pass and we need to change that to the wireframe and so now you've got this cool looking effect there and if i scrub through that you can see how now because we've added these expressions to uh, these two values it's it gives it that tunnel effect so moving back now we just want to change up a few things and add some color so we need to go back up to geometry over here and what we can do is we can change the vertices here and so i mean if you like it as a circle like that and that looks pretty cool you can leave it like that but if you want it as a square then you can change the vertices here and you can play around with some of these settings because some of them have real unique different values but I'm going to be focusing on the square here and I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the vertices Y at uh, 50, but if you wanted to increase this, it just means how many lines will appear uh, there. So that's looking pretty cool. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add some color. So if we go back down to our shader, we can change the SP color here. So let's say for example, we wanted to, you know, make it like an orange or something like that. So now you can see that it's got that, you know, orange color to it. So the next thing that we can do is we can add another Red Giant plugin, which is called Starglow. And Starglow is pretty cool because what it can do is make really nice, you know, glowing kind of effects. And you can see that just by dragging the, the plugin on, you can see the kind of effect that it's, uh, that's given. But also in, in Starglow, what you can do is you can change some of the presets. So for example, if you want a different, you know, color or anything like that, you can come over here and you can change that or you can do it manually. But what I like to do is I like to change the streak length to about seven and boost the light to about two and then come over here and change my colors individually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change them to one color and then I'm just going to pick my orange color and so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to select that 
and then I'm going to do the same for the color map B. I'm going to change that to one color and then I'm just going to go back to orange and this time I'll put a lighter orange, something like that. And there we have it. And so now if we play that back, you can see that we're, we've given the illusion that we are moving through that tunnel and that will loop, you know, for the entire duration of that composition. So yeah, so that's about it. Um, I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you guys can create more tunnels for your videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.